We classify tornadoes on something called the Enhanced Fujita Scale, or EF Scale, which has been in place since February of 2007. The scale works by assigning a rating between 0 and 5 based on the estimated wind speeds of a tornado by looking at 28 separate damage indicators after the storm moves through. But again, I will admit it is pretty hard to actually conceptualize the damage based on the storms if you're not actually in the affected area. So let's take a moment and talk about what kind of damage can be seen with each category on the EF scale. First, with an EF0, which is the weakest kind of a tornado with estimated wind speeds between 65 and 85 miles per hour. At this point, we only see minor damage to structures. That can include some damage to gutters or sidings or broken branches off of trees. When we jump up a category to an EF1 tornado, which we just saw last Friday in Perry, Michigan, we now have estimated wind speeds up to 110 miles per hour. These kinds of winds can produce moderate damage, such as roofs being stripped off of homes, mobile homes being overturned or badly damaged, and in certain cases, even the loss of any exterior doors. With an EF2 tornado, this can now shift homes off of their foundations and even start to lift cars off of the ground with wind speed between 111 and 135 miles per hour. Now, once we get into the EF3 category and above that, that is when damage can now be considered catastrophic. With an EF3 tornado, we now have entire stories of homes being destroyed. Heavy cars not only being lifted, but thrown by these winds and complete destruction of mobile homes. For an EF4 tornado, these now have the capability to completely level homes with winds up to 200 miles per hour. And any tornadoes that do have an estimated wind speed over 200 miles per hour can make certain cities and towns almost unrecognizable. Now, thankfully, of the nearly 800 tornadoes that occur each year across the United States, 80% of them are in that EF0 to EF1 category, and the rates drop pretty sharply from there, with less than 1% of tornadoes being in that violent category of an EF4 to an EF5. Back to you.